365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each year. Let's see what God has in store for you today. Today is August 24 and the title for this devotional is, Whoever Gives, Receives. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Lord, please let the Holy Spirit guide us as we read and follow along with this devotional. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. 2 Corinthians 9.10 Paul praised the generosity in Christian giving that is characterized by joy. In 2 Corinthians 9, he spoke about the reward God bestows upon the one who joyfully shares what he has received. He used the figure of planting to illustrate the principle that the one who gives receives. The sower invests part of the seeds for sowing. He sows joyfully and generously because he knows that he will also generously collect much more than he sowed. Three young men approached the office that day to present their need. They had to enroll, but after having worked throughout the holidays as co-porters, they had not brought enough money for their studies. We had already given out all the money that our office set aside to support meritorious students. I thought about sending those who were empty-handed away, but one thought came to my mind. Give them the money you have saved. I had been collecting money for six months to pay for my daughter's semester enrollment. I didn't hesitate. I asked them to wait a little while for me, and I gave them a letter in which I committed to paying the university the money they needed to enroll. I thought I would have time to raise the money again for my daughter. The next week, my daughter called to remind me that it was time to pay the cost for her next semester. I told her the truth and asked her to trust that God would provide us with the resources again. That same afternoon, an old friend called me to ask how my life and that of my loved ones were going. I told him that everything was fine, but he told me that he had a strong impression that my family had a great need and he was willing to support us. I insisted that everything was fine, but he apparently sensed that the problem could be with my daughter. He called her and she told him what had happened. My dad gave away the money for my studies and I have to make the payment this week. That friend told her not to worry because he would be responsible for the semester's costs, and he was. Then he called me back and scolded me for not telling him about the situation. Dear friend, God does not lie. Whoever gives receives. We have proven in our home many times.